All right, man, so I'm doing this video on city girls, man, and something that I've realized, you feel me? So, just today, a couple hours ago, city girls video was promoted to me, you know, suggested. And when I first saw it, I was like, man, what the fuck? First thing I noticed, I seen little Babies on it. I was like, okay, QC connection, you know, Atlanta dick ridery promotion, um, QC overhype. But... Then I noticed, you know what I'm saying, they skin complexions. I'm like, oh, hell nah, bro. Fuck no. So that right there told me everything I needed to know about the video. But I said, man, bro, nah. Because I know I just seen videos, you know what I'm saying. I've I seen thumbnails of them in other, you know what I'm saying, real settings. The real settings of, like, videos for, like, DJ Small Eyes. You feel me? He shown them in videos, like the girl they call her, what, light skin Keisha. She says she light skin Keisha. Bro, you brown, caramel skin, brown sugar. Fuck is you talking about light skin Keisha? To who? Light skin to who? Nigga, in the winter time, me and that girl the same fucking color. I'm not light skin. I know I'm brown. Self hate. Regardless to that. Regardless to that. Um, I watched the video and it's even worse. Y'all let these folks do this to y'all for what? We the bigger. That's why y'all let them folks do that to y'all? Because I want the cow to the shave. Cow, cow to the shave. That's why. Demoralizing. This is what you do? You know what I'm saying? Bro, you take away how you look? Like, really? Sad. Sad. Very sad. Very, very sad. You ought to be ashamed of your motherfucking self. They not, though, because guess what? All they care about is... We the bigger. That's all they care about, you know what I'm saying? And for the young, only reason I'm doing this video is because I know a lot of young black women from urban areas. They probably ain't gonna listen to this shit any fucking way. They gonna make their dumbass decisions any fucking way. But regardless of that, for the ones that, you know, ain't, you know, just see it a certain way, if you do make that choice to become, you know, um, a succubus in, in American toxic society, then I'm just advising you before then that you were warned. If you don't have a father in which tells you the truth, you feel me? If you don't have a father around that tells you the truth, women are going to enable chaos anyway. So, you know, I'm just here to say, be aware. Because these decisions do matter in the future. If you're living vicariously through celebrities, rappers, and female artists, then I'm just informing you as an individual of Earth, outside of all of that illusion, the truth. Tattoos on women is, you know, unattractive. It's gotten to the point to where porn, my nigga, porn has said that they want no tattoos. Like, they have to advertise no tattoos in porn because guess what? People that watch porn don't even want to see bitches with all these fucking tattoos all over their body no more. They find that shit disgusting. Nigga, niggas that watch porn, bro. <laughs> so keep that in mind. It devalues, you know, you lose value when you do shit like that. It's not feminine. Tattoos in itself is a masculine thing. Women do that to be like, you know, I'm rebellious. It's basically the whole point. It's not cool. You know what I'm saying? And for the men that's not telling you the truth, they just want you to look bad. We ain't even going to talk about all the wigs and all that because we know who y'all trying to appease. It's not black men. Y'all not trying to appease us with these wigs and all that shit. Y'all trying to appease white men, but guess what? They don't want that bullshit. They got Asian women. That's their second in line choice to leaving white women to go to Asian women. All that bullshit y'all doing don't matter. All that submitting in front of them. I know, ain't bro. I'm just going to say this right here. There have been Spain colonists that traveled with Hernando de Soto and a lot of the other colonists that came to America in the 1500s. That have documented how the indigenous women reacted to white men. And the indigenous women themselves said that the children that they have with white men listen more. They're more stable. They're less wild. More tamed. Do you know what the fuck that means, bro? Y'all don't. This shit has been going on, bro. This shit has been going on. You know the mentality of the woman. You let your woman become defeated, and this is the type of shit that goes on.
No woman should devalue how she looks to try to appease somebody else. I'm trying to appease an audience right now. These motherfucking female, the you know, city girls got blind fucking weave in their head. Thinking they look fly. Thinking that they just gonna be on. Like, bro, white men don't give a fuck about that shit. It's all an illusion to sell y'all a dream to think that, you know, it's going down like that. Sorry. If you go down that path, it's up to you. I have no say so in what you do in your life, but I'm just telling you, it's the reality. They ain't going for that shit, and you can go to their channels and see. You will see it in reality. You got some that do get chosen. It's a small, small, small portion. You know, I don't care who you date. Just don't bash black men when you do it, but y'all do. Y'all do it all in rebellion, you feel me? The whole situation, I wouldn't say that y'all are the reason why society is the way it is. It's because of weak men as well. But y'all chose, you know what I'm saying, to be in that masculine position to say that you can do what a man does. No, you don't. That's not duality. That's not how the universe works. That's chaos. So when a man doesn't lead, this is what happens. You know? Y'all give me y'all thoughts on this situation. I don't make videos towards young black women because I don't even try to reach them. You feel me? If they come on the channel and they learn knowledge, hey, good for them. You know what I'm saying? But if it was a way I could get on YouTube and block all y'all from my channel anyways, I would do it just to talk specifically to the young black men because we need leaders in the black community. I don't expect women to lead. I'm not expecting y'all to lead for the next generation. I don't want to see that, bro. That's the problem with what has happened since the 80s, 70s, 90s, early 2000s till now. It's been that. We need a change. We don't need y'all doing what y'all have done before. Thinking y'all got it incorrect, bro. Murder rates have went up. Incarceration rates since the black man has been out of the household. So we need a new reformation of the mind for the young black male. And that's what I'm trying to do with this channel. Or just, you know what I'm saying? That's what I've been doing. Fuck you mean. It's what I've been doing. Over a year. So, you know, I'm going to let y'all speak for yourselves. Because I know what the young black man on the channel is on. I know what level they minds is on and it's staying on. So, city girls promoting this shit. This is the most redundant shit ever. I be catching, you know, um, girls walking up the street singing these female songs. And I'm like, you gonna end up prostituting listening to this bullshit. It's already a culture of prostitution in the household anyways. But, to a new level. It's easier for women to switch over to become hoes now in society. Back in the 90s and shit, it was like, the fuck are you doing? You from your family would look at you a certain way. But now that it's not even a, uh, that shame in that household no more because the father is gone and the mother was probably a hoe in the 80s now. You feel me? So that little act of rebellion has been multiplied in modern women, mothers. And now it's like, oh, shit, well, shit, hey, you know, hey, you know, she want to be free. She going to learn what she face ass. You feel me? All that excuse and bullshit. And also, I want to speak on something else, too. YouTube has been suggesting me this girl, Jania, you feel me? NBA young boy's ex-concubine. I mean, um, girlfriend. Um, and uh, punch, punching, you know, bag. But they've been recommending me her whatever the fuck she be doing, ice skating while pregnant and shit. And I'll just be thinking about it, like, the mentality of these women. I be seeing so many rants of this girl. She goes live every motherfucking day to talk about nothing but... NBA young boy and just the baby and all this drama and going off and shit. And I be thinking to myself, like, this is a girl that's 19 motherfucking years old. And there's so many women that watch this shit and agree with this shit and be like, Oh, she's learning. Oh, she's getting smarter. It took the baby for her to get smarter. Read the comment section. And I'm like, really? So it takes for a baby for you to get smarter. A single mother. NBA young boy don't want to be with you no more. You feel me? So you're going to be a single mother unless it's some nigga that step in and be the cleanup man. You feel me? Which is not an honorable duty. Shouldn't be. You should, you know, ready-made families. But regardless of that, they praising this shit. And I just think to myself, like, do they not understand that that's dysfunction? You know? And I want y'all to realize this, too. I'm going to put this shit in here. There's a difference between... In the Jewish tradition, you know, the people that um, are promoting this shit to you, you know, City Girls and all that, QC, and, you know, the people that own these record labels and promoting it and, you know, distribution companies and all that. Yeah, yeah the Jews, yeah, them, yeah, the Jewish individuals. You know, they're different to, than white people. I want you to know that. They're different. They, You know, they've infiltrated their cultures as well and done things to them. They have this thing called a bat mitzvah. Bat, B-A-T, bat mitzvah. 
for the young Jewish women in Judaism. At ages 12, they tell them, you're now responsible for your own actions at 12 years old. And they teach them that it's a whole process. That's order. That's a matri that's a patriarch system. Goddamn almost fucked up. It's a patriot patriarch system where the man is leading, has rules set for the woman, for her to follow. Because she represents his people. She is a representation of his culture. The black community needs to understand that. They know that. But you don't. You out here just being rebellious and, you know, it's chaotic. So just understand that these are the rulers. You know what I'm saying? This is what they teach their children. And what do you teach yours? You don't follow that Bible you read. They force you to read that. You don't even understand it on a deeper level. Shit, in the beginning of 116, they tell you about duality. And you don't even understand that. So, hey, you know, with that being said, like, comment, dislike, peace. Nigga, what a bad